You can find some pretty decent lights nowadays, LED or COB for maybe 50, 60 bucks. But what if I told you that you can pay half of that, half of 50, which is 25. Quick math. So the big answer to the big question is light bulbs, light bulbs. Yeah, so these are very good special light bulbs. Not really, but these are very informative light bulbs and these are gonna help you create some dynamic lighting for very, 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 very little money. Now, before we move on, I'm gonna assume two things. You have some form of camera, digital camera or smartphone and uh, some sort of a lamp, a desk lamp, a vintage, grandma's old lamp with a bird on it. One wing fell off, so now it's just a bird looks like this. Even an old thrift store lamp or something like that. Any of those will work. So many of you who are not strangers to cheap lighting, uh, you may have experienced banding or rolling shutter before in your videos. And uh, nowadays there's some quick fixes for that. One of them would be uh, just messing with your shutter speed. Just raise it uh, one tenth of your shutter. Um, then adjust your your frames per second accordingly newer cameras though um, you might have what they call the anti-flicker setting in your menu just look for that in your camera but if you're shooting on a smartphone um, especially more recent released uh, smartphones you're not going to have this issue also quick disclaimer do not get incandescent or fluorescent bulbs those can overheat really quickly cause major fires we, we don't want you to do that uh, if you're not sure which bulbs um, your bulb store has. I found these at the Nexus of the Universe, which is Walmart. Um, you can just ask a store associate, just say, hey, I just need a uh, low heat LED bulbs. Can you show me where those are, please? All right, back to our bulbs. So our first pack of bulbs here, I picked these up for about six bucks. They had a two pack though, that was um, four bucks. So you can get that. I'm only using two of these bulbs. So um, again, these bulbs are giving us some good information. They're gonna tell us uh, the brightness, which is in this pack, 450 lumens. And they're also gonna tell us the color temperature, which on this pack is uh, 2700 Kelvin. Relax, calm down, know what you're thinking. Who's Kelvin, who's Lumen, these guys? I don't know these guys. To put it quite simply, Kelvin is the scale that uh, we use to tell us the, uh, the temperature of a light. Um, closer to 2700 and lower, that's gonna be some cooler light. And uh, closer to 3000, 5000, 6000, it's gonna be a lot warmer light. Lumens, this is just telling us the, uh, the amount of brightness that these bulbs are. These are 450, our next bulbs are gonna be 650. These are relatively bright. Um, you don't wanna to get too high in lumens because if you get like maybe 900, 800, or even like 1100, 1600 lumens, your video is gonna start looking like this. This is not what you want. 450, 650, that should work for most video. Um, if you're lighting a big area, then yeah, you're gonna need a lot more uh, lumens. So we're gonna be working today with 450, 2700 Kelvin on the first batch of bulbs. And then these are 650 lumens, a little bit brighter and 3000 Kelvin, a little bit warmer. And why is this information important? Well, so by knowing the lumens and the color temperature, what it's going to help us do is set the right color balance and white balance in our camera. Uh, so if you're shooting on a digital camera, you have control over your um, Kelvin or uh, white balance. This information is gonna help you do that. So in camera, we're gonna set our Kelvin to what our main key light is, 3000. And then we're just going to make sure that we are compensating brightness or exposure uh, to match um, 650 lumens. Really just the baseline, you can cool it off or warm it up with your uh, Kelvin settings or darken it or lighten it a little bit with your exposure settings as well. But having this baseline will help you uh, see what's in your camera, uh, exactly what you're seeing with your own eyes. So we're actually gonna use the brightest bulbs as our uh, key light, our main light, and our background light. So we have two of these, and then we're gonna use the less brighter bulbs as our um, fill lights, just gonna lighten up the shadows a little bit. Let's get a quick rundown of what we got going on here. 
So we have a two pack of these bulbs, which is about $4. We have two of these bulbs, which we found over at the beautiful Dollar Tree, our dollar store. Um, these were a buck 25 each, buck 25. Uh, we also have some light clamps, and I'm going to show you what those are. But we found those for seven bucks each. Got two of those. Those are going to help us with our uh, key light and our um, background light. And we also got a blue gel. Um, you can find these for about a buck or so on uh, AliExpress or uh, Timu. Um, sometimes Amazon has them on sale. And uh, we also have uh, some tissue, which we just found lying around the house. Hopefully it's not used. But that did put us at a grand total of about $22.50, so less than $25 bucks we're going to use to light this joint up. Uh, let's get into it. Step one, when you're lighting, the first thing you want to do is turn off all the lights. Uh, so that includes covering any windows, any lamps you're not going to use, any overhead lights you're not going to use, just shut those off because we want to control all of our light. So we're gonna to need to shut off any lights we're not going to be controlling or not using. Step two, to set up the key light or the main light. That's gonna be the light that's gonna be shining on your subject or your primary source of light. Uh, what I like to do is I put it about 45 degrees to my left or right, but for this video I did it uh, 45 degrees to my left. And I did raise it up a little bit. You don't really have to do that if you have a floor lamp or you have a, maybe a desk or a table or a counter nearby, you can just put it on there. But put it about 45 degrees to one side of you. Uh, for this video, again, we did it to the left. And uh, depending on how bright your bulbs are, you can back it up to um, maybe dim it a little bit or put it a little bit closer to your face to brighten it up. Now for this key light as well, it was a bit harsh on my face, so I did take a piece of uh, tissue and I just taped it in front of my clamp light and that seemed to soften up just enough for my face. Step three, now we're gonna put in our fill lights. I put a fill light on the opposite side of my key light, so it was 45 degrees to my right, and then I put a second fill light just underneath my face to sort of brighten up the underneath shadows on my subject. Step four, I lit the back and I used my second clamp light for this and uh, I pretty much put my clamp lights on my coat rack. Uh, use anything you can, a chair, whatever you can to clamp your light to. Um, and I put the tape the gel right over my second clamp light, lit the back up in nice blue, that very cinematic YouTube style of uh, lighting there. And um, I also turned on a little lamp that I had just lying around, just a little bit accent. That's completely optional. You don't need to do that. But I find just a little bit of touch of light in the background can kind of make your scene look a little bit more cool. And here it is. Uh, you can see the video of me seen here as I'm talking about the length of my sub sandwiches. I like to go smaller or bigger sometimes. I actually don't know. I don't remember what I was talking about in this video. I was just doing it for an example of the lighting, but there it is, less than 25 bucks, dynamic lighting for all your social media videos. And um, so yeah, try it out for yourself. Again, disclaimer, be very careful what kind of lamps and lights you're gonna find for these. Make sure you get low emitting bulbs. We're not responsible for you burning down anything at all during your video production with your bulbs. And look around. Definitely, you, you might be able to find uh, cheaper lights in this. You might already have them in your house. Uh, you might be able to find some lamps on like Marketplace or something to help you light your videos. Uh, so you can probably have a much cheaper setup than I have here. Um, and that's the one about the light bulbs. Um, thank you.